This is Module 5, Lesson 18, Homework, Side 1. Today's objective was to compare fractions and whole numbers on the number line by reasoning about their distance from zero. Place the two fractions on the number line. Circle the fractions with the distance closest to zero. Then compare using greater than, less than, or equal. Number 1. On number one, I see that both denominators are three, telling me I should partition my number line into thirds. So I'm going to carefully divide my number line into three equal parts. Then I'm going to label my fractions zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds. Next, I'm going to circle the two fractions I'm comparing, one-third and two-thirds. One of those fractions is closer to one than the other. The fraction that I see that is closer to one is two-thirds, which tells me that two-thirds is a greater fraction than one-third. So I would say one-third is less than two-thirds. Number two, I see I need to compare four-sixths and one-sixth. Again, the denominators are the same, so I only need to make one number line. I'm going to partition these number lines into sixths. So, so to start, I'll partition into thirds, then I'll break each third in half to create sixths. Then I will label each fraction, 0 sixth, 1 sixth, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths, 5 sixths, and 6 sixths. This time I am comparing 4 sixths and 1 sixth. One of those fractions is closer to one. The fraction that I see that's closer to one is four sixths. So I'm going to mark four sixths is greater than one sixth because it is farther down the number line. Number three, I need to compare one fourth and one eighth. This time, my denominators are different, so I'm going to have to create two number lines. I'm going to start by creating a number line for fourths. So I will partition in half, then each half in half to show fourths. Labeling zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths. Next, I'm going to change colors and I'm going to partition each of my fourths to show eighths. To show eighths, I just need to break my fourths in half. So I'm going to break each of my fourths in half, which will give me eight equal parts, and then I'll label zero-eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. The fractions I'm comparing are one fourth and one eighth. Both of those fractions are very close to each other, and they're both close to zero. But one of them is a little farther down on the number line, making it a little closer to one. One-fourth is a little farther down on the number line. So I will say one-fourth is greater than one-eighth. On number four, I see four-fifths and four-tenths. So you will need to create a number line that shows fifths on the top and tenths on the bottom. 
then you will need to use that number line to help you compare. Number five, I see eight sixths and five thirds. I also notice that my number line starts at one instead of zero. My denominators are different, so I will have to create different number lines. On the top, I'll make thirds starting with three thirds. And on the bottom, I'll make sixths starting with six sixths. 